this is really simple guys um you know anybody could do this you guys don't need to take your especially one of these these are probably like one of the easiest boats i've ever worked on um with these jet motors but uh what we got is you know you're gonna want to get a quality grease gun i know they sell them at harbor freight and they're good for a few uses but uh, i've been suckered into buying one of those too and they they they're just terrible quality i went ahead and bought the lucas one uh from home depot and uh, it seems to be working good so far i have i've really only used it once before um and we're going to use it this time for this but you're going to want to make sure you have a unit that has um, a flexible coupling here because the fitting um that you're going to be greasing is if you can see down in here there's a cover over top the zerk fitting i'm going to take that off or try to anyway See, for winterization, I sprayed uh, silicone all in here, so that thing's um, that thing is on there, and it's kind of there. We go. So this is just a cap, okay? It just sits on there to protect the fitting from any dirt and debris. And uh, I'll just set that there for now. Alright, and I'm trying to hold the camera while I'm doing this, so I apologize for the angles. But this grease gun comes with a little protective cap and it's taking that off. And then down in here, alright, if you're really good with these grease guns, you know, you get it on there and then it's not on there all the way yet. You gotta push it on, okay? And then you'll feel a seat. And then usually, you know some grease guns will be on there so good that you can just pump it without holding it on there but just be ready to catch it now um when you're pumping these okay i saw a guy on on youtube i'm not gonna call his name but dude is cool and i've i've watched a lot of his videos something i don't agree with is when you're pumping these up you do not want grease to to come out of the seals and what i mean by that is there's a there's a seal here and if you start seeing grease come out of there, you put too much grease in there and it's, you know, not uh, recommended at all. So just uh, be careful. Um, you're gonna hear noises in there as you're pumping it. Um, I'd, I'd say refer to the the, uh, the manual for this. And um, I, I can't remember what the capacity is, but really you only want a few pumps in there. Um, I even spoke to the dealer and he said, you know they they go to lengths to make sure that they're not breaking this seal um and if they do they will let the customer know and they will replace that seal um, because they've had a lot of issues with this so um be careful okay so i'm gonna pump it and i'll be quiet so maybe you can hear the noise in there and what you're seeing there is just a little bit of grease coming out of my um, going because I can't reach all the way down in there to hold it. Now, so far, I've got three pumps in there, and there's no grease coming out. Okay, four pumps, five pumps. six pumps I hear grease moving so I think I'm gonna stop I'm at about seven pumps um, I'm just being careful because I don't want to break this seal the little bit of grease that's on here is okay this thing's gonna be kind of hard to take off and that it should be that way but when I'm done I'll wipe all that up and um, I'll put the covers back on and, and I'll go ahead and start the engine and then I'll run the um, impellers and just see if I can still hear that noise or if it quieted down any. Um, my plan is to just run it for this season and then when I take it out of the water and winterize it this year towards the end of the season I'll probably, if it's still making that noise real bad, I'm going to take it all apart and replace those bearings. But um, that's really 